Dirty moderates, there was no way that Donald Trump wouldn't be indicted under the Espionage Act. Folks, I am of the belief that what prosecutors do and how the law and how justice gets meted out is very, 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 very sacred. I'm not alone in this, but I don't let my um, political affiliations, I don't want to say partisan because I'm not a partisan, but I don't want my feeling about Donald Trump, my detestation, my disdain, and my absolute loathing of this man and what he represents to ever inform how I think the government should be weaponized against him. And I say this at the outset to say there was no choice but for Jack Smith, um, the special prosecutor, to to indict him. But the rush, the bloodlust rush that I've read on Twitter about this man in seven years, and I know people hate him, and I understand. But we have a criminal justice system in this country that applies to everybody, which means everyone has the presumption of innocence. And when I say it applies to everybody, God forbid it's you, right? I know it's easy to hate your enemies and to loathe and, and, and as I said, abhor what Donald Trump represents. God knows I do, but we still have a criminal justice system. And though it is hard to overstate the level and the depth of this indictment against Donald Trump, it needs to be said, like Jack Smith, Jack Smith said, these crimes are alleged. He's not been convicted. He's been indicted. His charges have been brought against him that have to still be proved in a court of law. This is Monday, the day before he gets arraigned at a Miami court tomorrow. All right, which means then we will go to the next level of this process. Now, this is the first time that a former president or any press has been charged with a federal criminal indictment. He took an oath of office. He violated that oath at every turn. I supported both impeachments. He tried to dig up dirt on Joe and Hunter Biden to try to beat Biden in 2020 because he knew rightfully Biden would beat him for the first impeachment. That was extorting Zelensky. He did incite an insurrection, and he should have been convicted by the Senate that day, um, and we would he would be gone because he wouldn't be able to serve. That didn't happen. Okay, but this is the first time any leader of the executive branch has been charged with obstructing the very agencies that he led and the first time that our national security has been this at risk by a commander in chief for violating the Espionage Act. Okay, the indictment, which came out on Friday or was unsealed on Friday, accuses Trump of 38 crimes or 37. Actually, the majority of them, 31 of the counts are for willful retention, unlawful retention of sacred, secret national defense information. All violations of the Espionage Act. There's a count of conspiracy to obstruct justice, okay, of which he's accused of conspiring with a, an, an aide who was in his employ after he left the White House. You've seen the name Walt Nauta, Walt N-A-U-T-A. That's who was also indicted. It's um, He was con accused of conspiring with Walt Nauta to hide classified documents from the FBI and the grand jury investigators case. He withheld documents. He corruptly concealed documents. He ordered boxes to be moved that... Uh, to Mar-a-Lago that he would then not give back, okay? Now, the potential prison sentences for Trump add up to like 400 plus years, like 420 or something like that. And again, he's not going to get the maximum sentence, I think even he, if he is actually convicted, um, won't get that. But boy, we are facing something we've never faced before. And the Republicans are at it and blaming the, you know, the deep state as usual, insisting that, Oh, these are all fake and false. Meanwhile, the charges were issued by 23 randomly chosen people in South Florida, South Florida jury, right? But the evidence is so substantial that we see of these allegations that the Justice Department had no choice, okay? The indictment fundamentally says that Trump not only took classified information documents that he was not authorized to have, but he showed them to visitors and to his political friends and cronies. My God, sitting there at Bedminster and saying, hey, here's this plan of attack. I know you shouldn't see it, but guys, he even said to one of the guys looking, one of the people he was showing it to, isn't it amazing? Showing them, like holding up the document. He acknowledged that it was secret, even in sharing secret information. Okay, listen, he put our nation in grave harm. People say, oh, who did he show it to? Who cares? It's not the point. It's unlawful retention under the Espionage Act of classified information, showing it to people that don't have clearance. He knew he was authorized. 
excuse me, he knew he was not authorized, rather, to, to keep these secrets in his possession. And he played his games to conceal all of it from the FBI and, and what have you. He even suggested that his lawyer take some of the documents to their hotel room where they were staying and pluck out anything really bad. Here's a quote. He asked his lawyers, wouldn't it be better if we just told them we don't have anything here, quote unquote? He went on, quote, well, look, isn't it better if there are no documents? Then he told his lawyers to falsely tell the feds that he had fully cooperated. Again, his contempt for this constitution, for his oath of office, for the rule of law, for this country is peerless and unfathomable. He walked out of the White House on January 20th, 2021 with nuclear information and f uh, uh, about us and a foreign government and description of support for different terrorist activities, communication with leaders of another foreign country. It's the willful retention, the unlawful retention of this material that led to these 31 charges of violating the Espionage Act, which makes it a crime if someone – here's what the Espionage does. Espionage Act does. It makes it a crime if someone deliberately retains national defense material and, quote, fails to deliver it to the officer or employee of the United States until to receive it. Just so you know, Trump was breathlessly arrogant, reckless, and self-destructive as always. He had, could have given these documents back putting American soldiers at risk, our closely guarded secrets, if he had just given them back and he was asked to give them back, he gave some of them back, but not all of it back. He treated them, you know, like he was, you know, he won a trophy. Look, look what I did. Ha ha ha, I'm going to play this game. Well, he is a victim of his own making here. As corrupt and, and, and unsavory and dishonest as this man is, he could have returned these documents and he wouldn't be in this position, but here he is again. Here he is again. He is so unfit, manifestly unfit for the highest office in the land, hard to believe he was there, and he is seeking it again, and he's the front runner still. All the requests to return these documents could have handed him over immediately, and he would have avoided all of this. By the way, that's what Mike Pence did. People keep saying, well, Pence did it, and Biden did it. Yeah, it's not criminal. You can make mistakes, or you can hold on to something that maybe you should have given back. As soon as Biden and Pence were asked to give back material, Biden were, were papers of his that were uh, when he was senator, and Pence had classified material, they gave it back. They gave it back. Don't fall for it. This is so much larger than Republican or Democrat. Everybody knows I'm not a Democrat. Everybody knows I'm a never Trumper. Everybody knows that I'm not happy with everything the Biden administration has done for the country, though I voted for Joe and I will again. I have serious policy disagreements on some things. People know that I hold positions that could be, I guess, uh, uh, properly categorized as moderately conservative, in some cases conservative. It is unconscionable for a president to do this. Kevin McCarthy tweeted before the indictment was unsealed. It's unconscionable for president to indict the leading candidate opposing him. No, Mr. Speaker, it's unconscionable for a president or in this case, a former president to not return documents that, by the way, is the other thing that gets lost in all the right wing propaganda. These documents belong to all of us. They don't even belong to him. All the documents that presidents have, OK, that are part of the National Archives. They belong to us, we the people. I think we lose sight of this. The president of the United States is hired every four years to work for us. It's not the other way around. We are not the subjects of a sovereign like we once were when we were a colonial outpost of Great Britain in the 18th century. No, 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 no. We are, we have sovereignty. Don't forget, we're we the people. And that's what T Trump was withholding, our stuff. Government is of the people, by the people, for the people. It's not separate from us. That's what makes you America the idea that's so unique. You can say this prosecution is purely political, but you're, you're, it's not true. We have an independent judiciary. The Department of Justice is separate from the FBI. No, Merrick Garland did not direct, uh, I don't care what anybody says, Jack Smith to do this. 
you can't ignore what Trump did under any circumstance. Of course, Mitt Romney's condemned it, and there have been Republicans. Chris Christie's condemned it. Justice Department followed the basic protocol and rules to meet to reach this decision. The public can judge it for itself, and so it judges for itself, and so will court. And Trump will be afforded due process. He will have a jury of his peers. He will have the right to appeal the verdict if he's guilty. This is all embedded in the Constitution. No one's taken that away. But if nobody's above the law, then nobody's above the law. The Justice Department has no choice. You know, people who have been accused of spying or violating the Espionage Act, many have gone to death. Others have been prey, whether it's Aldra James or the Rosenbergs, and there's a long list of people. How could you not take the Espionage Act seriously? I did a uh, Stay Dirty, Stay Moderate months and months ago. It might actually have been last year when he first did this, and I broke this down and said, if this is espionage, you can go back and listen. If this is espionage, this dude's, okay, it's going to be Trump toast all the way. Trump toast dripping with guilty butter. That's why this indictment is so necessary. I mean, prosecutors have won. It's a federal indictment again. Convictions in dozens of classified document cases involving behavior less atrocious than what Trump did. There's no witch hunt. Listen to Bill Barr. Bill Barr, I can't stand, who seems to have come around now because it's convenient. It's not that I trust Bill Barr. But he said on CBS this morning, hey, this says more about Trump than it does by the Department of Justice. He's so egotistical, Barr said. This is Bill Barr, man who buried the Mueller report, man who, you know, obstructed his justice, you could say in many ways, but let's not get off the subject here. Bill Barr said Trump is so egotistical, quote, that he has this, pen this penchant for conducting risky, reckless acts to show that he can sort of get away with it. There's no excuse for what he did here, end quote. Everything's unprecedented. Oh, it's another witch hunt. Oh, well, might it ever occur to anybody that Trump has just been so corrupt and so full of scandal and so dishonest and so malevolent, right? And so mendacious that all of the, these charges that have come up are, are because he did them? Think about it. Think about it. He has torn apart our norms, upended our values, violated our precepts, violated his oath of office again and again and again and again and again and again. But there is a precedent for prosecuting people who violate the Espionage Act or who take classified information that isn't theirs. To not prosecu prosecute this just because he's a former president or because there's been other um, impeachments or would-be charges or many charges or allegations – doesn't take away any of the severity of what Trump's being accused of here. Can't be emphasized enough, folks. It cannot be emphasized enough. I'm not sure when I hear all this bullshit from people on the right anymore is do they believe it or do they want those tax cuts so bad? In some instances, not all. Do they just want they want that racism so bad that they're willing that they're willing to implode our, our our national purpose for it again for Donald Trump? Look, his polling's abysmal. So is Biden's. Up. They're both polling abysmally, especially with independents. But to run this man for the highest office in the land again. Knowing full well that if you have served this country in uniform or in any national security capacity, forget that people were all at risk by this. But if you've served and you know that he's put you in harm's way, that he's having a meal at his country club and showing people that have no clearance, some of the most sensitive information. I mean. What the fuck is wrong with you? And the thing I'll never understand, and I'll end with this. Why did so many people, and there's no answer to this, but why did so many people prostrate themselves, humiliate themselves, destroy their reputations, genuflect, all in the name, service, and at the altar of Donald John Trump? I'll never understand. I'll never understand. I know I know it's a cult, but I know there's people who aren't cultists. They just want another job. They don't think that America, fragile, young, 
still growing, still fighting to realize a lot of its aims and purpose. Is that always at a precipice anyway, but has been pushed to a dangerous one by this man? And that somehow all the laws that have been um, bedrock to this country, not just the Constitution, but something like the Espionage Act, which has been an important tool to protect our national security, that suddenly is like insignificant. Everything's just a partisan witch hunt. Something I'll never understand. But that doesn't make the charges against Trump any less severe and it doesn't at all diminish the reason that the Justice Department had absolutely no choice but to bring them. He'll be arraigned in court tomorrow when you listen to this. It's being recorded on a Monday. You might be listening to it on Tuesday or later. He'll be arraigned in Miami at a courthouse, at a courthouse um, on June 13th. He is presumed innocent until proven guilty, but 38 counts. 31 counts violating the Espionage Act, unlawful retention of documents that were classified and, set and, and sensitive that did not belong to him. They belong to us. That's what's at stake here, folks, the very, 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 very essence of the rule of law. We either believe in the rule of law as a country or we don't. We don't excuse it for anybody, not the least of which the most manifestly unfit, amoral man, I believe, to ever hold that office. Folks, thank you for indulging me as always. Make sure you find me on TikTok. We're doing a lot of fun things over there um, and informative things, of course. We're at Dirty Moderate Nation. And as always, thank you for listening. With so much exciting stuff coming up. I know I keep saying it, but wait until you see it. And of course, in the meantime, stay dirty, stay moderate, and stay safe.